buckle up, esteemed viewer, for by the end of this journey, astonishing truths about GameStop will be unveiled, forever altering your perspective of this financial odyssey. And I jump in the shower and the blood starts pumping. Out on the streets, the traffic starts jumping. With folks like me on the job from nine to five. Working nine to five. What a way to make a living. Barely getting by. It's all taking and no giving. It's just news your mind. But they'll never give you credit. It's enough to drive you crazy if you let it. In the grandiloquent realm of short squeezes, we traverse the labyrinth with the finesse of a maestro, all while peeling back the enigmatic layers of this GameStop saga. Enter the arcane world of short interest calculation, a dance familiar to seasoned investors. However, in the GameStop theatre, this narrative diverges. The bewitching 25% of shares, ensconced in the sanctum of direct registration, disengages them from market whims. DRS shares, akin to rare artifacts, defy the frantic pace of the markets, requiring days to weeks for a transaction pas de deux. In this intricate ballet, the days to cover figure languishes at an ominous 22 days, an hourglass that foretells a squeeze exonerable approach, even in the unlikely scenario that the die-hard direct registration devotees forsake their conviction overnight and turn into paper-handed fannies, these shares take days and weeks to sell, so cannot arrive on time for any squeeze. But lo and behold, the plot thickens. The conventional short interest figure, tethered to the total outstanding shares of approximately 305 million, crumbles under scrutiny. Enter the trade spotting short interest calculation. From this day forth, known as the TSI, a revolutionary approach to demanding the subtraction of the 76 million directly registered shares from the total outstanding 305 million. This alchemical formula unfolds as follows. Short interest equals 67 million shares short, divided by the total outstanding shares, brackets, corrected for the directly registered shares, close brackets, and multiplied by 100. And now the drum roll resounds throughout the financial cosmos. The trade spotting short interest, or TSI, is a paradigm shift in nomenclature. It emerges at a staggering 29.31%. Yes, you heard it correctly, dear viewers. The financial pantheon has erred yet again. They don gone fucked up. As the saga unfolds, so too does the evidence, further fortifying the due diligence. We, as the vigilant Denzians of this financial wilderness, poise in the verdant trees, awaiting our strategic moment. The orchestrated lows coinciding with the middle class's depletion of savings, a calculated move in this market's grand chessboard. Subscribe to our chronicles for an in-depth revelation in that regard. Money managers akin to prodigal sons return to the fold, orchestrating a crescendo of redemption, November and December are the perennial stalwart months of the stock market. The two best months of the year, every year since 1950, and they beckon with historical resonance. The parallels to bygone eras become manifest, and as the venerable equinox approaches, we the faithful will have seized the initiative, bark with the dogs, bend with the irises because springtime is our time in the tapestry of fate chronicles echo louder than destiny's decree choose trade spotting and in this financial theater script your destiny with sagacity and acumen the odyssey continues and you dear viewer are the protagonist smash that like button a clarion call rally the faithful choose wisely and together let us chart the course of financial destiny to disseminate a message 
to the masses. I understand that conventional wisdom dictates it should be crafted in order to align with the understanding of the majority so that it's suitable for popular consumption. An unspoken concession then to the perceived intellectual median, a surrender to the premise that with half the population residing below this fabled average, the conveyance of gritty truths demands a calculated dumbing down. In the venerable tradition of this channel, we defy such conventions. The trade spotting ethos demands we steer towards the arduous course, that we choose the most formidable course of action. It beckons us to eschew the root of simplification and dumbification and instead elevate your comprehension and challenge you to rise above the mundane. In the face of a landscape that implores us to conform to the lowest common denominator, we rebel at the inception of this journey, I warned against the insidious act of dumbification. Messages don't need to be dumbed down for the masses. They need only be heard. This is a cautionary note to take to heart. We stand resolute, choosing intellectual rigor over patronization. And I am not pandering to the perceived limits of comprehension. This is a rallying cry to embrace the complexities of truth. In the crucible of trade spotting, we choose to elevate, to enrich, to impart truths in all their unadulterated complexity. We reject the notion that understanding must be diluted for widespread consumption. It just needs to be heard. And hear me now as we begin a surge towards a thunderous crescendo. Hear this, I opt for the strenuous path, the one that transcends the facile narrative, that holds others captive in a gilded cage of mediocrity. I am here to empower, to challenge, and to usher you in to a new realm where tomorrow is not merely a concept, but a tangible promise, one that can be yours, Choose the arduous path, for in its crucible you shall find not a diluted truth, but an enriched revelation. Stand with me. Rebel against this clamor for simplicity. Reveal and revel in the intricate dance of the intellectual emancipation. This tomorrow, it beckons. It beckons you not as a distant mirage, but as a realm within your grasp. And remember, it's called the TSI the trade spotting short interest.